What's up guys, it's Sasha from Sasha Bee and Baby Bee. Sashmi and Baby, and today on Sashmi and Baby, I'm doing a Q and A. Um, I have no excuse. That's why I haven't posted in months. Oh, I'm pregnant, and it makes me tired. But um, so I got on Facebook and asked some people to ask me some questions about like things that they might want to ask me. And these are some of the, the questions I got. So, without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, disclaimer. I know that I've already done like a QA and a about being like young and pregnant, blah, 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 but I decided to do another one. <laughs> so that's, that's really the disclaimer. And these are just my experiences and my advice, you know. Okay, so Natia Jimenez, I'm pretty sure that's how you say it. Like it look, I feel like it's how it's spelled. But yeah, so she asked three questions in one. Um, one, she asked, how was it being pregnant during your senior year? Um, which I actually, I don't think I've ever actually told like the whole truth or story, I guess, behind that. But um, now I'll plan on it. But it's kind of sucked <laughs> because who wants to be a senior and be pregnant? I mean, you don't really get to do any of the things that you wanted to do. But um, it wasn't that bad. Like, I still walked with my class. I went to like, the senior breakfast and everything. Um, I went to homecoming, I went to prom, I did everything. <laughs> so because I'm really hard headed and I wasn't going to not do it just because someone said I couldn't. <laughs> so I did it. But um, I mean yeah it was a struggle because like you don't relate to anybody anymore. Like nothing was relatable anymore. Like you didn't relate with your friends, you just, you just didn't because you weren't going through the same things anymore. So I mean that kind of sucked but I, I like him. I'm happy he's here. So, she said, how do you balance things out? School, work, family, etc. Um, I don't. I don't at all. I'm like a, like, I run around with like a, like, I run around with like a chicken with its head cut off like every second of every day. I'm always stressed out. <laughs> always. <laughs> but, um, my school is online right now because I'm actually about to go on to maternity leave and I'm trying to finish my bachelor's degree. So, um, I do schooling online so that kind of helps take care of it because I can do it on my own time. Um, and then I just don't really sleep. <laughs> so that's about it. I just don't ever sleep and that's how I maintain it. Did you feel judged as a teen mom? Um, yes and no. Like, I think it was more so like when I went to like do any, like do things. Like if I was like, you know how they do like kinder music and stuff like that? Yeah, I hated going to those because I was like, I'd walk in class and be like, wow, I'm like five and everyone else is like 102. So it was just uncomfortable. And like people would look at me like. Your mom. Are you sure that's not your brother? Yes, I'm sure. <laughs> I know how he got here. But um, so yeah, just like, at, like every now and then, but like, People aren't that bold. Like when you see like the really bold people, like it's that's not like a normal thing. Like people aren't just gonna walk up to you. You normally can tell by the stairs, I guess. But um, I wasn't really judged too too harshly. I did have one friend in high school who like had to stop hanging out with me because I was pregnant. Her dad told her that she couldn't hang out with me because I guess it's contagious. So whatever. But yeah, that was really like not not too terribly bad. Like I, I haven't gotten just. I mean, like later in life, like if you say like, oh yeah, you had your baby. Like I'm like, oh yeah, I had him at 17. And they're like, so I mean, but people are gonna judge you regardless. So do you both? Claire Cleveland asked, uh, <laughs> how did your significant other and parents react to me telling them I was pregnant? 
So, I do remember this clear as day. Um, I actually told my boyfriend first, and he was actually, like, he was supportive. Like, it wasn't like, oh, I hate you, abort it, or anything like that. Like, I got really lucky. He was supportive. He, um, actually, his, his reaction was way different than mine, because I was not supportive of myself. But he was very supportive on what he wanted to do and stuff like that, and he did want to keep it. I was on the fence about it. Um, my, I told my granny next, actually, actually, and, um, I don't really know how she felt, like, she didn't really, like, give me, like, an, a reaction, like, she was just like, okay, like, this is what we're gonna do, like, we gotta tell your mom and your dad, and blah, 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 and then I stayed the week with my granny, and I told my mom, and my mom cried, <laughs> so that, she was probably the hardest one to, like, tell, just because I knew I was in, like, disappoint her so much. But, um, my mom cried, and then my mom called my dad, because she said, oh, well, we'll go home and tell him together, but I guess it was just too much for her, and so she called him and told him, and, like, I had, I didn't talk to him until we got home, and it was uncomfortable. But, um, I mean, to make your bed, you gotta lay in it. <laughs> so Patty Mae probably said, um, her question was just, like, how did you do it? So, <laughs> or how do you do it, like, now? Like, because, um... I'm a full-time mom, full-time student, a full-time employee, and I'm 34 weeks pregnant, <laughs> and I have a kid, so, and um, we just moved into our first home, and we're still trying to renovate a lot of things, and I'm looking for a new car, because I hate the one I have, so it's a lot going on, and she was like, how do you do it? I, I don't know, like, I... I don't know. I really don't know. Like, sometimes, like, I'll need to do something. I'm like, damn, like, I pulled that out my ass. Like, because I have no idea. Um, honestly, you know, probably, if I'm being real, how I do it is my planner. My, I go nowhere with a planner. If I don't write it down, it's not going to happen. I don't remember it. I forgot it. Like, if I did not write it down in that planner, you, like, you should have, you should have said something because if I didn't, then you're shit out of luck and I'm not gonna know what I was supposed to do or not I'm gonna absolutely not do what I was supposed to do and like I know that 100% for a fact Melissa Bundy asked how is it different being pregnant at 23 versus 17 it's way it's actually way different <laughs> like you know um, I, first of all at 17 I was a lot like a lot more worried and scared and um, you know I didn't know what was about to happen and I was young so everyone's like oh that's the end of your life like that's it like you know you're a teen mom and you know that just sucks for you and your life is over um this time it's way different like when people when you tell people you're pregnant now it's like oh my god congratulations like is there anything you need for the baby blah blah and my friends are older now like so it's different like they like i guess it's just like more understanding or like maybe more supportive but my, I guess my friend group also did kind of shift a little bit. So the friends I have now, um, they are a lot older. And they, most of them have kids, which is really fun. Like, I don't know. Like, it's just, it's way different now. Like, this pregnancy, well, I was sicker, <laughs> this one versus the other one. But, like, this one, it's just been really fun. The baby has its own room. I get to decorate it. We get to renovate it. I get to paint the walls. I get to do whatever I want. So it's way more exciting this time. And it's just fun. Like, everyone's just involved. Everyone, it's just, it's just funner. Like, everyone is excited. Like, you know, I snap, like, all of my closest friends. And, like, we're always talking about it. And I get invited to things still, even though I'm pregnant. <laughs> like, so that's cool. So I think um, there is definitely a big difference just because the way that people treat you and stuff like that. But, um, yeah, I don't know, I, it's definitely, there's definitely a difference, so, like, if you have a baby, like, when you're younger and then older, it's way different, and your body, like, like, I know I'm not that old, but, like, <laughs> this girl's kicking my ass. She asked, do you feel like you get support, more support now versus then? My family has always been my number one support system, so then and now, it really hasn't changed. They are just as supportive as they were then, then now, the friends that I have now, though, <sighs> I just love them so much. <laughs> they're, they're like everything to me. They're, I don't know, they're just amazing people. They support me in everything I do. I, oh, I just love you guys so much, so thank you. But, um, yeah, they're, they're definitely, it's just different. It's just like, you know, you, you grow up and things change. I also asked, do you feel more prepared now? Mm -mm. <laughs> I actually think because 
I know what I'm doing now like I'm not like I'm not getting things as soon as I probably should because right now I'm 34 weeks um it's like September 18th my due dates October 27th and the room's not finished so we just got in the crib <laughs> but um I don't know I'm just not like rushing to get it all done because I know exactly what I need and I haven't had my baby shower yet so I'm trying really just to wait until I have that because I don't want to go out and get a bunch of stuff and then have like a lot of duplicates and stuff like that so I'm waiting for my baby shower and she also asked this is still Melissa Bundy but I like all her questions so I'm gonna tell you guys all of them um she asked what advice would you give young girls going through the same thing so disclaimer this is just advice from some 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 girl but if you are going through the same thing um one really focus on yourself and your child um people around you really aren't that important find yourself a good support system whether it be the friends family co-worker whatever it is um those people are important it takes a village i am a firm believer in that it takes a village so um you know find your support system and utilize them because this is a hard part in your life and a lot of things are about to change with you your body everything everything changes so um you know just remember that and if you need help get it like there's a lot of resources for you know younger moms people who have gotten pregnant younger and stuff like that there's a lot of help out there so um all you have to do is google it and you, you're almost guaranteed to find it um and use that use utilize that help because I, like it, that's what it's there for um and if you're going through it right now and you're having a hard time or whatever it may be i wish you the best i am always my line is always open not my phone line because i don't be answering texts or phone calls even to my friends but you can find me on all my social media and that will all be linked down below or my email if you just if you want to email me now i don't know if people do that <laughs> but um if you just need someone to talk to you because it is it's a lot it's hard and a lot of times like people think they understand or they're like oh like i was there for you blah blah they don't understand because they're not you and they don't have kids so it makes it really it makes a big difference it changes the person but um good luck like i wish you the best and things get better if it's hard right now or stumbly or rockly or whatever it is it gets better so just remember that desiree hampton she asked in what ways have you gotten prepared for this baby compared to your first um, I actually feel like for my first one I had a lot more things at this point in my pregnancy um, but per like like I guess like thing wise like all of his stuff um, but for this baby I really like taking the time to enjoy my pregnancy I've taken nice pictures like um, I was so ashamed of my first pregnancy like I didn't want any maternity pictures I, I didn't want anything um, but like I've I feel like I've enjoyed it just a little bit more like taking my time a little bit more not like stress about little things about clothes and stuff like that because that you can get that all first of all as that comes but like um really just enjoying her growing and like I don't know being with her and just taking all these pictures and like all, I'm having all these memories because I don't have these with them on like um I don't really let myself so that kind of stinks but um, I think that is how I've been like differently kind of like with this one versus that one and then um, I guess I'm less prepared materialistically but I feel like I'm more prepared mentally if that makes sense. Danae Lynn had a couple questions. She said did you plan for this pregnancy? Absolutely not. <laughs> I don't think there will ever in my life be a time where I have a pregnancy that I plan for. <laughs> Ooh. Like the people who plan for their pregnancies I'm like man I wish I could be that put together absolutely not um do you know what you're having yes i'm having a girl and i have um a gender reveal video posted like a couple months ago that's linked down not linked down below but you can i, oh, I link it down below it's linked down below <laughs> so what are your fears about adding a second child into everything that's going on like i said like kind of like losing myself like getting overwhelmed because i i tend to do that sometimes get real overwhelmed um and like i don't know like it's not really like a fear but like all the time I'm just like oh my god like how like how am I gonna have two kids like how am I like how like how is it just gonna work but um I don't know everyone else seems to do it so 
I am nervous though and because it's I've never like I just know how to be a boy mom like I don't know how to be a girl mom I'm really excited for it though and then she said what is the first thing you're gonna eat or drink after delivery <sighs> that's probably my favorite question on here because that's important and people forget that that's important my first pregnancy my dumb ass was like I'm gonna get a McDouble I could have had anything I wanted but I was like I'll get you whatever you want like whatever you want you can have and I was like can I have a McDouble <laughs> so this time it's not gonna be a McDouble um I don't know I don't know like I haven't thought about it but pr I'm doing like a smorgasbord this time like I'm gonna get crab legs for sure sushi all raw all raw sushi um and that's, that's probably it crab legs and sushi and probably a salad <laughs> so ugh, i'm excited for that um christy hergen asked are you nervous for this delivery um i'm not i mean i am well like it's a delivery and i know it's gonna hurt and stuff so i'm like i'm kind of nervous but like i'm not like stressed about it. I'm just like, oh damn, it's gonna hurt again. <laughs> like, that's like really like the only thought I have about it, so I'm not excited for like the pain part. But I'm really, really like, you know, last time I wasn't as excited. Like, I wasn't like, oh my god, I can't wait for him to get here. I can't wait to hold him. Um, like, because I didn't know. But like, now I've, I know what like it's like to have a newborn. So I'm like, oh my god, I can't wait to just look at her. I want to see what she's gonna look like. I want to hold her. But, um, yeah, nothing I'm really like scared for or anything like that or like nervous for um, except for I am worried that I'm not gonna make it to the hospital that I'm supposed to deliver at and I really want to deliver with my doctor um, you know people drive like because people live in the country and so they live they like they'll drive like two hours to a hospital like all the time I'm just hoping that I'm that person who is able to do that I don't live in the country but I live far from the hospital that I'm delivering at which I can't even believe I'm delivering this poor girl in the hellhole for Walton Beach but that is where she's going to be delivered because I really like the doctor there so we have to drive we have to drive so that'll be interesting that'll be a long drive it'll be interesting oh Patty Mae she also asked what's the name of baby number two and it's a secret so she's just baby A right now I mean some of you know so don't say shit <laughs> but like She's just baby A right now. We'll probably announce it at the baby shower. If not, it's my story. It'll just have to wait. <laughs> that was all the questions I got today. Thank you guys so much for participating. If you did ask me a question, I um, appreciate it. All y'all. I like sit down videos because I don't have to do shit. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you hate it, give it another thumbs up. Why? Because that's a Samaritan thing to do. Um, you can turn on my post bell notifications and get notified every time I post a video um so yeah um be sure to subscribe comment and yeah <laughs> I hope you got some information um someone did ask for me to link my registries down below so I did do that um if you guys wanted me to do like a virtual baby shower I heard that was a thing I'd totally be down for it um like an unboxing video or whatever but I did link everything that I was registered to down below so I'm not asking for you to get me anything but someone did ask for that information and if you would like to that's your prerogative and I thank you um but yeah I love you guys so so much have a total Thursday and I'll see you guys next Thursday bye